Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lane. Today I'm doing a realistic rebuild of the Washington football team with Taylor Heineke at quarterback. A lot of people have been commenting, asking me to do that. So that's what we're going to do today. We have to work on the offensive line. We have to get another receiver or two for Heineke. Then on defense, would like outside linebackers, free safety with curl. We should be fine for now. Yeah, I mean, this defense is pretty good. Might have to trade Ioannidis, Payne, Allen, one of those guys. Maybe cut Ryan Kerrigan. We're going to wait and see what we do about that. But who do we have to bring back? Yup. Let's give him three years. We have plenty of money to make a splash of free agency as well. Darby will bring back. Moreau, we don't have to bring back. Let's go like that and that. That's good. Might as well. Oh, Kerrigan's going to be a free agent. So let's let him walk right out the door. Not too concerned about that. Ruben Foster, I do like. That's cheap enough, really. Well, not franchise tagging him. Is Heineke going to be way down here? Allen's down there. Heineke is. He got, what, like a two-year extension for like $8 million, something like that. We'll give it to him. Make it somewhat realistic. Let's go to free agent. So we made offers to Will Fuller, get us a number two receiver. Joe Tooney, get us a left guard. And we're going to bring back Ruben Foster. I wanted to keep him in the first place. Let's advance. Let's see if we can bring in our guys. Good, good. But Will Fuller turned us down. Why? Okay, Galladay's still up there. Juju is still up there. Let's mix it up. It says the Ravens. I could see that, but I'm going to go five years. Let's go 9-5. Let's go 5.83. 101 does beat out the Ravens. Good. I am going to have to put a draft class in. Of course, they, you know, ban people's names in this for no reason. What is going on? I'm not going like Antonio Brown. I mean, we're using a draft class with a lot of receivers, so I guess we're good. I guess. With the 19th overall pick, we're going receiver Kadarius Toney. He could be our number two guy. 70 overall, hidden development. 90 speed, 93 acceleration, 80 catching, 76 catch and trap. In the second round, I'm going right outside linebacker Chris Rump. He's a 72 with hidden. 74 tackles, 73 hit power, 78 speed, 90 acceleration. So we are a 79 overall team with Heineke at quarterback. We have Gibson, McLaurin, Sims, Toney. Pretty good offensive line. We do have to work a left tackle. Right tackle eventually. Then on defense, great defensive line. I like our linebackers. I like this team overall. Should be able to do pretty well in the NFC East, but we're going to have to wait and see how it plays out. Look at that. We won the division at 9-7, and seven, playing against the Buccaneers again, which is going to be a problem. Don't really think we're going to beat Brady, but who knows? Eagles 8-8, eight eight, Cowboys 8-8, eight eight, the Giants 7-9. Heineke, 3,600 yards, 30-14. and 14. That's not bad for what I was expecting. Gibson, 936 with only one touchdown. Very realistic. McLaurin, 850 with three. Tony, 800 with six. Sims, four. Thomas, 11. On defense, Foster, 100 tackles. Sack total, seven and a half for Ioannidis, five and a half for Young. That's not great. Interceptions, four for Collins, three for Holcomb, two for Moreland, and a few ones. We're 20, like, I don't get this game. Actually, let's go back. What do we have on defense? It better be top five. Okay, six. That's fine. That makes sense then. Fields MVP. I doubt it. Brady, two. Allen's up there. Tannehill, Trubisky. NFC offensive player is Brady. We have nobody up there. Defensive player of the year, Fred Warner. No football team members. Tony at two. That's good. Defensive rookie. Nothing, but that is perfectly, perfectly fine. What is going on there? I don't know why they updated it like that, but it's very strange. Very, very strange. Let's see what we have for XP. We have three for Heineke. That's not great, to be honest. Four for McLaurin. Seven for Tony with Star. That's huge. On defense, just a lot of XP. Star development for Rump. Two for Curl's not great. Here we go. We're going left. I was going to say, is Heineke going to lead us downfield to start off? They're up seven to nothing. Heineke. There's a field goal, I suppose. 10-3, to 17-3. to three. All right, we got a touchdown. It is halftime, 17 to 10, 24 to 10. I mean, we knew we weren't going to win this game. Let's be fair. It's 30 to 13, 37 to 13, and that's going to be it. I mean, that was a given with a 63 overall quarterback. Three interceptions, though, 231, not great. Brady, 333 and one. Jones, touchdown. Gibson, 58. Touchdown, Howard and Evans. Touchdown, Tony. That's pretty good. And a touchdown for Ronald Jones. The Packers beat the Jaguars 42-30. to 30. 
Now, Jonathan Allen's going to be a free agent. I do want to bring him back. Thomas can go. Settle we don't need because we have so many defensive tackles. We don't need Sims. Bostic we don't need. So we should have a lot of money after bringing back Allen. Yeah, we have a pretty good amount of money. That should do the trick. Let's go to free agent. So I made offers to Orlando Brown. Probably put him over the left tackle. He's making a big deal about that. David Njoku and Sam Darnold on a one-year deal. In case we can't find a quarterback in the draft. If we do, we'll probably just cut Darnold. We got all of them. That's good. The fifth-year option will be... No idea. Montez Sweat. That's right. Could be Dwayne Haskins. But it's going to be Montez Sweat. With the 21st overall pick, we're going corner George Tucker. He's a 78 with normal. Big surprise. 94 speed, 77 man, 70 zone, 70 player. I know we have Antonio Gibson, but we're going to draft a running back in the second round. Marcus Valentine. He's a 76 with normal, ranked number four. 75 break tackle, 90 speed, 92 acceleration, 90 agility. So I put Matt Ioannidis on the trade block. Let's send him to New York, even though that's in conference, or in division rather, and in conference. But I want to get something for him. I don't think that's going to hold us back that much. We're an 82 overall team, 81 offense, 85 defense with Donald at quarterback. McLaurin, Tony, who's up to star development, or is star development. The computer drafted a hidden development receiver, which is good. The offensive line is solid. And this defense is so, so good. Let's go to the playoffs. So we made the playoffs with a wild card spot at 12 and 4. It has to be the Cowboys. Maybe it's the Giants because this game's weird, but we're playing the 7 and 9 Packers. So I imagine we're going to lose. Cowboys 13 and 3. Giants 9 and 7. The Eagles 7 and 9. Darnold 4,200 yards, 23 and 7. Not bad. Rushing Gibson 887 with 7. Valentine with 9. Tony 1,207 touchdowns. Should go up to superstar, but I won't hold my breath. McLaurin 980 with 3 and a Joku 8. On defense, Foster 114. 12 sacks for Young, 8 for Sweat. Interceptions, 2 for Curl. And a bunch of 1. So we're 16th in offensive yards. And I imagine our defense is carrying us hard. Yeah, second. That's what I thought. Mahomes MVP. Nothing. Any football teams? There's Darnold at 6. No football teams. Valentine offensive rookie. Defensive rookie. We have Tucker at six, which is unfortunate. Who's our hidden development player? Oh, yeah, that receiver. So, really nothing. Let's take a look anyways. Even though he's probably not going to be up here. Yup. Six XP. For some reason, I feel like that might be superstar. But I always say that. But that's a lot of XP for the six-ranked receiver on our team. Doesn't really make sense. Donald with three for whatever that's worth. Tucker only two. That's crazy. They scored first and right away, seven to nothing, 14 to nothing. They're seven and nine. And we're getting our ass whooped. Well, that was fun while it lasted. 12 and four. I like how they're scoring in garbage time. 41 to 14. I guess we have to find another quarterback because I don't think Sam Donald's really the answer. Donald 292, 2-2. Two two. Rodgers 263 with 4. Dylan 76 yards. Touchdown for Knicks. Najoku with 90. McLaurin 108. Touchdown St. Brown. 2 for Adams. And 2 for Gibson. And 1 for Matt Breida. The Browns beat the Cowboys 35-13. If you say so. McLaurin and Payne are 100% coming back. Let's go like that. And that. That's good. Payne. Holcomb I want to bring back. The center, I'm not dying to bring back, to be honest, but that'll be fine. I mean, I don't want to use all our money. I feel like I could find another offensive lineman in the draft. Bryce Love, I do like, but I'm not worried about that. What's it going to cost? Oh, I'm not giving him two years. No, no, no. Let's go to three agents. The only offer I made was the Tyree kill. Hill, McLaurin, Tony seems pretty good. 99 overall with X-Factor. We still need a quarterback. I'll give you that. Maybe we'll trade up at this point. We got Tyreek. That's good. The fifth year option will be... I should know this. Young? Yeah. With the 24th overall pick, there are no good quarterbacks in the first round. Right outside linebacker, Doug Stout. 76 hidden development. That's huge. 79 tackle. People made fun of me for saying that a lot in a rebuild earlier. 77 hit power, 85 speed, 89 acceleration. In the second round, I'm going center, Ty LeClaire. He's a 72 normal, 84 strength, 79 run block, 75 pass. So we have two third round picks with the first one, strong safety, Michael Richards. And then maybe we trade away Landon Collins. 73 with normal, 
92 speed, 66 uh, zone, 70 tackles, 76 pursuit. So we are an 86 overall team with a 65 overall quarterback in Babineau. But he had so many weapons, a good offensive line aside from left tackle. And then a very solid defense. Tony is in the slot. And I'm going to put Orlando Brown over to left tackle. Forgot to do that last year. And I'll do it this year. Let's go to the playoffs. What a surprise. Didn't make the playoffs with a 65 overall quarterback. Still got six wins. Giants 13-3. The Cowboys 11-5. And, and the Eagles 6-10 and 10 as well. That is not good. Gibson 816 with five. Valentine had eight. Tony eight, or 980 rather with six. Hill with five. Najoku with five. McLaurin with two. Holcomb, 126 tackles. That's good. Eight sacks for Young, seven half for Sweat. Interceptions, three for Darby, two for Holcomb, Collins, Curl. Oh, Stout had an interception with 54 tackles. That's not bad. 32nd in offensive yards. Chris Robertson, MVP. We're not going to be up here. Even a little bit. Holcomb at two. Maybe in rookies, just, be, yeah, just because he's a quarterback. Nothing defensive rookie. Stout at three. I don't know how that happened. The Saints got Offensive and Defensive Rookie of the Year. And who is Robertson? I have to look at that. Because there was not a quarterback there. Because I was going to trade up if there was. Let's go to the Saints. Good thing this is an alphabetical order. Okay, he's normal. I don't know where he came from. But I'm fine because he's normal. Let's see what Stout's development's going to be. Let's get lucky. Just one time. Star. That's fine though. 4 XP up to an 80. Good, good, good. The Bills beat the Giants 34 to 31. That would be how the Bills win. Because we all know Josh Allen ain't that great. Am I right? Montez Sweat. Let's bring him back for sure. We have 51.4 million left. Gibson, I'm not in love with. Especially in Madden because he's not X-Factor and an 83 overall. But we'll bring him back. Curl, let's bring back. Foster can go at this point. Five years for Curl. I don't want Gandy Golden. I don't think I want Tooney. But maybe we'll bring him back. Let's bring back him. Let's bring back Fuller. Yeah, we're definitely going to let Tooney walk out the door. What does Kendall Fuller want? He's probably going to turn this down. Oh, no. At this point, we're almost better off bringing in Tooney. If he takes it. Let's franchise tag him. Let's go to the draft. Nobody that I'm like, I have to trade my future to get up and get him. So I assume at pick nine, one of them will be there. Maybe we just stick with Babineau. I don't know. Let's go pick by pick. Drag it out. Nothing. The Raiders don't need a quarterback. The Rams don't need a quarterback. Chargers shouldn't. Lions do. Guess not. The Pats definitely do. I guess not. Steelers do. The Eagles do. Okay. So we are going to take a shot in the dark. I kind of like Wade well Walden, rather. Eh. I'm going to go Kevin McKenzie, and I am going to regret it. I already could tell you that. 73 hit it. 89 throw power up. Pretty good. 82 deep backseat, 80 medium, 86 short. I actually like this quarterback a lot. We will take a look at Walden after the draft. In the second round, we're taking the Heisman running back Malcolm Kilroy. He's a 72 with hit in. 72. 72 break tackle, 94 speed, 93 acceleration, 89 agility. In the third round, we're going strong safety, Derek Torrance. He's a 72 in normal. I thought he might have hit in. 94 speed, 67 zone and tackles, 75%. So we are an 87 overall team with McKenzie at quarterback. Kilroy is a number three running back, but he's also our power back. Then on defense, we have a good defensive line, some good corners, good linebackers, good safeties. But I did say we're going to take a look at that quarterback. We made the playoffs with a wild card spot at 9-7, and seven, playing against the 10-6 and six Giants. Cowboys 7-9, the Eagles 5-11. McKenzie, there we go. 4,700 yards, 37 and 11. It always happens the year before last. Gibson, 850 with 11. Kilroy with two. Tony, 1,200 with 13 touchdowns. Now he has to go up to superstar. Hill, 1,100 with two. And Ajoku, 1,000 with 15. Pretty good. McLaurin, 750 with five. Fuller, 108. Holcomb, 106. 13 sacks for Young. Interceptions, three for Fuller and Collins. One for Holcomb, Tucker, Shelton. Seventh in offensive yards. That's big. Allen MVP. There's McKenzie at seven. McKenzie at two behind Russell Wilson. That's fine. Defensive player Roquan Smith. Young at five. That's good. Offensive rookie McKenzie one. Kilroy two. Redmond at four. Defensive rookie. Nothing. Not a big surprise there. Give us X Factor. Give us Superstar. Yes, X Factor 10 XP. 
That's what I'm talking about. Kilroy with five. That's a little disappointing, but he is the number three running back. We have a solid defense still. All right, let's hop into the game. You would think with an X-Factor quarterback, we could take down, I assume, Daniel Jones and the Giants. But of course, we start out with a field goal. They get a touchdown. How do we not get a field goal out of that? It's 14 to three. Another field goal. Another field goal. 14 to nine. 14 to 12. How many goddamn field goals? Apparently five of them. We didn't kick another one. We won the game with six field goals. What is this game? What am I playing right now? Do the Giants have a good defense? They have Baker 1-2. and two, McKenzie 219 with an interception. Barkley 77 yards. Gibson 78. Who had the touchdown? Mitchell. Like, wh wh who was on their defense? We're playing against the 14-2 and two Seattle Seahawks. Going right. There's our patented field goal, apparently. There's our touchdown. First of the playoffs, it's 10 to 7, 14 to 10 Seahawks, 17 14. Ooh, 2014 before halftime, 20 to 17. Don't lose this game. I understand they're a better team, but it's 27 to 20. Tie ball game in overtime. And I think we won. That's not Pete Carroll, but he looks upset. We did win, 33-27. McKenzie, 376-3-1. Wilson, 314 with one. Carson, touchdown. Kilroy, touchdown. Carter, touchdown. McLaurin, 89 with a touchdown. Lockett, touchdown. Two for Kilroy. Let's go to the NFC Championship. We're playing against the Atlanta Falcons. We should be able to beat them pretty handedly. A lot of the time, they do get Baker Mayfield in this, but they don't have Baker at the moment. So it's 7-3 at the end of the first quarter. 14-3. Let's get to that Super Bowl. It's always year three. 14 to 10. Stop getting stopped. 17 to 10. Not feeling great at the moment. 20 to 10. Now I'm feeling good. We're going to the Super Bowl. Who are you? Jordan Love. McKenzie, 329, 2 and 1. Love, 226 with 1. Gibson, touchdown. Tony, 92, touchdown. Rambo, 2 for Kilroy. Let's go to the championship. We're playing against Joe Burrow, I assume, and the Cincinnati Bengals. We're going left, I believe. They're up three to nothing. Please don't lose this game. Don't do it. It's 10 to nothing. Why is our offense doing this in the Super Bowl? There you go. 13 to seven. Make a stop. 16 to seven. 16 to 14. We're still in the third quarter. Plenty of time. Now it's not looking great. Now it's definitely not looking great. We're down by 10. Down by three. Ah, oh, man. Zach Taylor going to win the Super Bowl with the Bengals. Oh, McKenzie had a great game, too. 293 with three. Burrow, 365 with two. Mixon, touchdown. Gibson, touchdown. Touchdown for Boy, Tony Hill, Njoku, Higgins. That's really disappointing. Now we're definitely bringing back Chase Young. Definitely bringing back Jonathan Allen. And our right guard and Rumpf. Landon Collins, I'm not worried about. I probably will just bring back everybody and not spend any money in free agency. Williams, I'll bring back. He's a solid number three. Could be a number two at the moment because we don't have Kendall Fuller at the moment. All right, let's get young. I mean, what am I doing? He's 99 overall. Give him five years. Increase the money. I don't care. Not my money. Two years. Take it. That's good. Jonathan Allen, Sharef. I know I'm saying it wrong. I understand. Jonathan Allen turned us down. Might as well just keep the band together at this point. That's good. Joe Tooney, 83 overall. That'll be good. And I don't care about a punter or Landon Collins, so let's bring back Jonathan Allen. Let's go to the draft. In the first round, pick, tw or pick 31, rather, center Drew Heron. He's a 75 with normal. 84 strength, 79 run blocks, 79 pass. In the fourth round, it took middle linebacker Tavon Hart, who has hidden development. 89 speed, 80 tackles, 71 block shed, 86 hit power. So in our final season, we're a 90 overall team. The whole team is back. Let's run it back. As the Chiefs were saying, when they lost, let's go to the playoffs. We got the first round by, I believe we did, and the Ravens. Hey, surprise, surprise. Let's see, we went 11-5, tied with the Giants. McKenzie... 5,100 yards, 47 and 9. MVP. Gibson, 6. Valentine, 10. Tony, 1,413 touchdowns, up to X Factor now. McLaurin, 1,100 with 14. Hill, 1,000 with 7. 9 for Njoku. Holcomb, 104 for tackles. 
Young has 14 and a half sacks, Sweat with 13. Interceptions, four for Fuller, two for Richards, then a few ones. So we're first in offensive yards, and our defense has to be top five. Both won. So we should just walk through the playoffs. MVP, offensive player, Young at five, offensive rookie, nothing, defensive rookie, Farrell at five, Hart at eight. Interesting. All right, we're just going to upgrade the team. Actually, no, we have the middle linebacker with hidden development. I forgot about that. Still don't know, but he has 6 XP. Let's hop into the game. We're playing against the New York Giants, so we're playing Madden. We're going to lose this game. We are going left. Why would we start with an easy touchdown? We threw for 5,100 yards. I don't care that it's the Giants. Beat them. It's 14 to 7 in halftime. 14 to 14. 17 to 14. 24 to 14. We are down by 3. Down by 10. Down by 3 again. And we're going to lose. Wonderful. 31 to 28. McKenzie, two interceptions. What are you doing? Touchdown, Gatewood. McKenzie, route. Touchdown, McLaurin. Tony Njoku. Touchdown, Gatewood. But that's going to be it for this video. Hit the like button down below. The subscribe button down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.